This is a quick tutorial video that will cover configuring a T30R radar sensor and an SD50 status display to provide a measurement readout with a custom lighting animation. The T30R sensor series includes models that can provide a pulse frequency modulated or PFM output, which can be tied directly to the SD50. This combination of radar and lighting provides a simple solution for applications such as monitoring the level of a tank. For this example, we are using an R50 junction block to connect the T30R, the SD50, and the Pro Editor cable together. Begin by connecting power and the Pro Editor cable to the R50. Next, connect the T30R to the R50. Plug the Pro Editor cable into your PC and connect the T30R to the Banner Measurement Sensor software. Navigate to the Discrete 2 tab and select Pulse Pro from the Output Mode drop-down menu. You will need to determine the minimum and maximum ranges of your application, either by conducting your own measurements or using the data provided in the software. Enter the nearest distance, which would pertain to a full tank, as the value pertaining to a 100Hz signal. Enter the farthest distance pertaining to an empty tank as the value for the 600Hz signal. For this example, the range will be 0.5 to 1.2 meters. Click the right icon to send the configuration to the sensor and then disconnect from the software. At this time, you must also physically disconnect the sensor from the R50 before connecting the SD50. Once the SD50 is powered up, open the Pro Editor software and connect it to the light. Select the Measure Mode icon. In this application example, we will configure the SD50 for a tank filling application, with the sensor's closest measurement being considered the high value and the farthest measurement being considered the low value. To do this, simply reverse the values for the PFM low and PFM high fields. We then want to show the fill level in percentage, so we will enter 0 and 100 into the output scale value fields and add a percent sign to the value label field. Next, we will enter the word level into the data label field. You can select the thresholds and animations that will appear on the ends of the SD50 based on the needs of your application. In this example, we are setting the display to show red for when the measurement is below 25%, yellow for between 25 and 75%, and green for above 75%. You may need to select additional format settings for your application, such as bar graph format settings, connector orientation, text justification, and many other options. Click right to send the configuration to the SD50 and then disconnect from the software. At this time, you can reconnect the T30R to the junction block. That covers a basic setup of the T30R radar sensor with an SD50 status display using a PFM signal. For more information, reach out to Banner Engineering.